is dead and a woman seriously injured after being attacked by a pack of dogs in two separate incidents in West Memphis. Now the man's fiance is reaching out to us hoping to get some answers. She tells our Bria Jones if the dogs were picked up after the first attack, no one else would have gotten hurt. Well, nobody would have helped me. Crying out in confusion. Emma Willis says her fiance, 56 year old Sam Sullivan, died three weeks after a brutal dog attack in West Memphis. It's a bad dog was on me. And I hollered for 20 minutes and nobody would help me. According to this police report, officers found Sullivan lying in a puddle of water in a ditch on November 8th, just before 1 a.m. He told police he was walking past this property on South 19th Street when he was attacked by multiple dogs. He was taken to Baptist Crendon and Willis says he was then transferred to Regional 1 where he underwent at least three surgeries. I was watching mud out of his ears and out of his head. All this was ate up. I mean, ate up like somebody had skinned him. All this, you know. On November 21st, the coroner notified West Memphis police Sullivan died from complications related to the attack. Willis is questioning why the dogs were not removed from the address because police confirmed they attacked again after biting Sullivan. This time, police say a woman was riding by on a bike. Officers say the woman was severely injured from dog bites. A neighbor tells us he ran to her rescue. She was fighting them hard. She couldn't, couldn't holler at nothing. In both incidents, animal control was contacted. However, it's noted they did not come the second time. We were rolling Tuesday afternoon as animal control did return to the property. According to West Memphis Police, the owner voluntarily surrendered two adult dogs and 10 puppies. Bria Jones, WREG News Channel 3. Still lots of unanswered questions about that story and the city of West Memphis responded tonight to us saying they sympathize with the grieving family and the wounded and the case is still an active investigation.